what we're going to be doing today is a six pieces dress and i'm going to be using this pattern to draft mine and i'll be using two different ankara to make my dress you can use just one material of your choice the first thing to consider is the hip circumference measurement since it's um a dress so the hip that i'll be working with is 40 inches and divided by six is going to give us sev approximately seven inches right so each piece is um seven inches each piece is seven inches so the length that i'm working with is 40 inches and here i added extra inches of three inches so that i have 47 inches the width here the base has to do with your choice is, this is um 7.5 when i unfold i'll get 15 inches you can work with 14 you can work with 16 18 20 depending on how wide you want the base i'm working with 7.5 which is 15 inches so this is going to be for each piece as well so cutting out the middle piece first i have my 8.5 inches for ham hole I have 13 inches for under bust and I have 18 inches, which is the navel. The 18 inches is where the dress is going to be fitted from the top. Then from the 18 inches, it's going to become wider to the base of my dress. Now, at the top, I have shoulder divided by two. And the shoulder divided by two is um, 7.5. That is what I have here. 7.5 inches is what I have. And like I told us that because each piece is 7 inches. And this pattern now, I, I'm going to be folding my fabric into two to get my, my 7 inches. That will be 3.5 inches. And the 3.5 inches, I had an allowance of half an inch, which is 4 inches. Now, let me explain this. If... Um, after your calculation, each piece is about um, it, um, like 8 or 9 inches, whereby you have 4.5. You know, if you're going to maintain your dart of 8 inches, that's the bust span, or 7 inches, your bust span, and then your calculation is more than what you need, that means you have to reduce the middle piece. Reduce the middle piece to maintain your dart measurement. Then the other allowance, you can add it to the side. So, but in this case, I am working with 3.5 inches, which is 7. So, I had an allowance and I have my 4 inches. So, that my 4 inches now will continue like that to the um, waist area of 18 inches. And from there, I am going to slant to the base. From my 18 inches... down to the base of my folding and my four inches continues like this right now at this um 8.5 this is my 8.5 inches i have the bust measurement of 36 inches and 36 plus 8 divided by 4 will give us 11 inches so here is my 11 inches and i have my ham o like this i have my one inch I'm going to come back so you can just draft out your ham hole here like this then i am going to be taking the princess that because the side is a princess that um dress so for your princess that you can work with four four point five five or five point five inches it depends on your choice I am going with um, 4.5 inches. Now, from this 4.5 inches, I'm going to connect back to my 4 inches, which is this. Just like this. Also, on the neckline, I am going to work with 3 inches as the width. You can go with any neck design of your choice. Mine is a round neck. I'm working with the depth of 4.5 inches. And I'm bringing out the neck design like this 
also i need to maintain my one inch shoulder slope so that i can slant from here to the base so this part is what i'm going to cut first and it's going to be the middle piece so my ankara fabric i'm going to be folding it into two i'll be folding my ankara fabric into two also if you want your zipper at the um at the front of your dress it means after cutting there's need to add your zipper allowance of either one inch 1.5 or two inches but if you don't want um the zipper at the front then you're good to go you can just leave it as the way it is so this same piece that i have here is what i'll be using to cut the middle back this piece is what i'll be using to cut the middle back so just in case you want the fr your zipper at the front you add it to the front um, fabric. If you want your zipper at the back, it means you add it to the back fabric. So to cut the side, there's need to first fold the pattern into two. Okay, now to cut for the side, like I said, we need to first fold a pattern into two. It is very important. And at the base, here, I, I still maintain my 7.5 inches. Now... Here I have my 8.5 for ham hole, 13 for under bust second um, for the under bust length, and 18 inches is our um, na the navel. That's the waist measurement. Now this bust at my 8.5, I'm going to consider the bust measurement. The bust is 36 plus 8 divided by 4, or 36 divided by 4 plus 2 is 11 inches. Now, don't forget that we already took four inches uh, out of our measurements. So we are left with seven inches. That means I am going to mark my seven inches here. This is the underbust length, and I am going to be taking the underbust circumference below it, which is 30 inches. Plus eight divided by four is 9.5 inches. 4 inches is already gone, so we have 5.5 inches left. Then the waist here, um, the waist measurement 32, plus 8 divided by 4 is 10 inches. 4 is gone, so we have 6 inches. So I am going to be connecting this. Like I said, to cut the side, we need to first fold our pattern into two. It is important that you fold into two. At the base, I still maintain my 7.5 inches. And here is my 8.5. Here is the 13, which is on the bust length. And here is 18 inches. And we're still going to take out our 4 inches. And I am going to slant to the base. So 
So it's just like this. Now I'm going to be cutting it out and I'll stop at this point. Now there's need to open it up. Then we place the middle piece that we have cut. This is the middle and We're going to place it to this point. Now, we need to open it up. Remember, this is what we are working with. This middle piece is what we are working with. So, I am going to place the first pattern like this at the very edge. So that we can take every of our measurements. Now here is the bust, I mean here is our bust area, we have the 4 inches mark and the 8.5 still continues like this, remember? And we have a 1 inch here, so that the, the um, arm hole would come like this. So, I am going to trace it out in this manner and also continue like this so we can cut this out as well. We are still going to bring out the shape from the pattern. So now we have for one side and I'm going to be using this very pattern to cut for the other side. Now if you now feel you want to bring out the shape here from here before you go ahead to turn to join what you're going to do is to consider the ball circumference measurement plus eight divided by four and what i have here is 11 inches that is the same as the ball circumference measurement divided by four plus two so that i have my 11 inches here here is my 13 inches which is the under bust length and under bust circumference measurement plus 8 divided by 4 from my own calculation is 9 in 9.5 inches and the waist measurement from my calculation is 10 inches so if i am going to trace it out to go like this then from this waist i am going to slant back to the base of our measurement So now we can see what the side looks like. After joining, it's going to come out. Then I'm going to use this to cut for the other side. So this pattern that I have here is what I'll be placing to cut the back. And like I said earlier, wherever you want your zipper, either at the front or at the back, you um, remember to hide the hollow ones to that. Like I told us, 
just add your allowance to the print if you want the zipper at the back remember just you are going to place your your pattern to cut exactly what you have but if you want it at the front just like mine it means you're going to add the allowance to the front fabric you can as well um you can cut any neck design of your choice and the sleeve as well you can cut out any sleeve of your choice There's need to open this up because it's going to have a zipper. Then to fold that of the back, it's just going to be the same thing that I have here on my pattern. Now, this is the end result after cutting. This is the back, and you can see it's so beautiful. And for the front, it's going to come out in this manner because the zipper is going to be at the front. And I am still going to make a tutorial of a bustier, six pieces bustier blouse with um, almost the same pattern. And I'm sure you're going to make yours very soon, and I would like to see it. So you can go ahead to make yours right now thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click the subscribe button click the bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video till i see you next class stay cool